Next come all those animals which have a well developed vertebral column and a bony skeleton. So, because they have a vertebral column, their name is also derived from vertebral column and that is vertebrates. We all are vertebrates. The simplest of the vertebrates are Pisces, the fishes. Fishes are always aquatic. You know all vertebrates have a body covering. Fishes are covered by scales. If we put our hand in water for very long, they become wrinkled. But fishes live in water, still nothing happens to them. That is because of scales. They swim with the help of fins and tail, breathe by gills. You see all their features are suitable for aquatic life. So they also have streamlined body. Some of the fishes have a skeleton only made up of cartilage like shark. These are called cartilaginous fishes. But some have both bones as well as cartilage and they are called bony fishes like rohu. So you can say skeleton is made up of bones or cartilage. Cartilaginous skeleton shark bony Rohu. So, because of streamlined body, because of fins and tail, they are able to live in water and also because the gills help to take water oxygen dissolved in water. The word amphi means both. So, the animals which can live both in land as well as water, they are called amphibians. Now their skin is smooth and slippery because of the presence of mucous glands. Slippery skin due to mucous glands. Though they can live on land but they lay eggs in water. They have two pairs of limbs which help them in leaping and their breathing is by gills when they are larva. Gills in the larval stage, skin or lungs when adults. So this is about the amphibians and they have heart which is three chambered. Two atria and one ventricle and in the case of fish the heart is two chambered. Examples are frog, toad, salamander. <coughs> 